Let's take a look at an interesting way to UV unwrap using Dynamics. I picked up this technique from James Wilmot about three years ago and uh, I thought we could take a look at it in this video. So I've got this head object that I want to unwrap and uh, we've got all kind of uh, pieces of geometry that are on top of each other and things like that especially in the ear area and uh, the mouth um, and even the, the nostrils. And so what we'll do is we'll use cloth dynamics, the cloth effects, to uh, unwrap this. In order to do that, we're going to need to um, create a new morph target. Uh, so what I'm going to do is come over here and we'll just call this UV pull. And then we just need to start um, pulling edges, pulling the outlines. Okay, and I've got a seam back here and we'll take advantage of that. So I'm going to grab these polys and go to select points so that I can get those points on the edge. And I'm just going to take them and pull them over here. Okay. And maybe size them up a bit like that. Okay, I'm just stretching them out. I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm just going to grab these polys, select points. I don't want the ones on the outside there. And I just want to pull these over here. I'm going to take this top one and put that straight up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start fanning these out a little bit. Um, so put this one up here, this one up here, this one kind of in the center. And all I'm trying to do is somewhat fan these out. Like so. Okay. And I'm going to hit tab to go into polygonal mode. Select these points and kind of line them up. Grab these points, kind of line them up and grab these points and I'm just using the stretch tool for this. Okay. I want to grab the bottom of the neck here, stretch those down, maybe stretch them out a little bit. Grab these points. I'm going to turn symmetry on. I kind of should have turned symmetry on from the beginning but we'll, we're okay. This is going uh, fairly fast. Um, and I just need to grab, looks like this point, and pull that out. Okay, so now I'm going to straighten these up and straighten these up. And I'm kind of just making a, a square here and flatten these down. I'll go ahead and grab these and flatten these as well. Okay, so we're going to use this as our little map, except I am going to take all of these points and I'm going to squash those in the side view. Okay, just so they're all lined up. And while I have them selected, I'm going to come over to S and I'm going to make a new selection set called Fix that we can use with our dynamics. Okay, so I have my uh, object ready to go. We're going to take advantage of the UV pole and the selection set that we made. I'm going to hit S for save and I'm going to send this, I'm going to um, send it over to layout. So send object to layout. Put this over here. Now in, before we go to dynamics I'm going to come over to frame 5, P for properties, go over to the deform tab, morph mixer, and UV pull. I'm just going to pull that 100%. Okay. So we're taking advantage of that morph we just made. And 
our animation goes something like that. Okay, it doesn't even matter if it's over five frames or one. We just need to to pull it out. And now I'm going to go to P for properties, dynamics, add dynamics, cloth, and those those points that are kind of our border points, our edge points. We're going to put those as fix. We're going to fix those so they're not uh, part of the dynamic calculation. And then we're just going to try and change some numbers here. For substructure, I'm going to try 100. I'm going to move over to the polygon size, and I'm going to try 25, just to just to shrink it up. Uh, that should help any uh, overlapping geometry. And I'm going to go ahead and calculate and see what happens. Okay, and you can already kind of see it's starting to <laughs> spread it out. It's actually kind of fun to watch. The um, the overlapping geometry seems to be pulling away from itself. And uh, we're just going to kind of let it rest into place. And uh, just to cut down time on this recording, uh, I'm going to uh, cut it off and come back at the end, and we'll see what the last frame looks like. Okay, and if we scrub over to the last frame, we've got, I'm just going to take a sneak peek. We can see the mouth is uh, doing pretty good and uh, no overlapping geometry on the ears and that's those are the two uh, two areas well that and the nostrils and the nostrils look fine the eyes look fine so we're uh, we're in pretty good shape here so I'm gonna go ahead and close this down this isn't really a UV map but it, we can make it a UV map uh, fairly fast what I'm gonna do is come over to file save and I'm gonna save endomorph and I'm gonna call this um, UV head okay and click OK save I'm gonna go to save object copy and give it a u new name come over here control O grab the object that I just saved go to my base hit tab so I've got my um, my head that we started with and I'm gonna go over to um, the UV head that we made right here and it's still not a UV map yet uh, so what I'll do is uh, make it a UV map so I'm gonna go over to UV texture and let's go ahead and uh, flatten this first so V we can see that all the points aren't perfectly flat. They're close enough, but I'm just going to cram them on the uh, zero on the z-axis. And then I'm just going to go to T for textured UV, new, call this head, planar. Let's do subpatch interpolation um, to subpatch, and then down the z, create. And now we have our UV map. And if we zoom in, uh, no overlapping geometry on the ears, mouth, nose, eyes. Uh, we're we're good to go. Uh, now I'm going to want to tweak this uh, as with uh, you know as with any UV map. You're going to want to make some adjustments, but uh, it's a pretty uh, interesting way of unwrapping a head, um, and it was uh, pretty harmless. We just need to fix the points that border the geometry, spread them out so that we actually pull it and uh, apply cloth dynamics and we're pretty much uh, good to go on this and uh, ready to start texturing.